everybody! Welcome back to some more Crusader Kings. Uh, we're last left off. Uh, <laughs> the two empires that border us are both in revolts, and we are still too weak to fight them. So we're kind of just letting our threat go down, chipping away here and there if we get golden opportunities at countries that aren't the big empires. As well as, um, what was it, uh... As well as developing our lands a lot. I actually wouldn't mind getting a great work sometime soon. If we look at the list here, uh, do I need to build anything I personally own? No. Okay. As long as it's part of the country. And we have the money, so we got to build up a bit more. HRE seems to be having issues. Yeah, but even with the revolt, they have more than double the troops of us. Um, and the revolt in the Byzantine Empire is actually a pretty weak revolt, unfortunately. Why not take the chance to conquer Bulgaria? Uh, we're still threatening. Bulgaria are Christian. So we are... If I were to do that... Really? Okay. Uh, well, I pretty much all I could do is Holy War them or de jure claim... Oh, we actually do have... Do we have any good de jure claims, though? That's not just a single county, because that's lame. Uh, we could border dispute, but that sucks. You lose a lot of money in that. Yeah, I'm not going to fight them for one individual county right now. And we could Holy War them, but even that is not a very appealing prospect because then other people will join in. Namely, the Holy Roman Empire would definitely join in. Uh, Lithuania is probably a better target. But uh, oh, I could force vassalize them? Really? When we declare, we'd lose 2,500 prestige. That'd put us in the negative, and that would suck, but if we force vassalize all of Lithuania, that's still pretty strong. And our heir is... Yeah, he is our heir. Good. Sorry, I was just double-checking the respect on everyone, everyone and making sure that if I just keel over right now randomly, even though I'm only 30, you never know that nothing too bad happens. Norse Catholic Bulgaria? Nice. I know, right? There's a lot of weirdness in this game. Okay, let's remind ourselves here, what are we building? In Solden, we were increasing city fortifications, right, because the raiding was starting to become a real drain on tax income, because it also, when when the capital is looted, it also loots your, um, every single person's house, like every patrician family's house. That's a lot of money for us, and a lot of tax money trickling up from everybody else that is getting lost. Do we have any uh, factions against us? Not any serious ones. Um, tried to bring, have me assassinated. Hmm. My spy master. This guy tried to assassinate my spy master. I expose him immediately. Fuck him. Hey, Siuri. Rejected institution of ruler title revocation sovereignty law. I didn't know that I was voting on that, but it has been two weeks. Um, why did that get rejected? We have four loyalists and then plus our own vote. How could we possibly lose that vote? What the fuck happened? That is really strange. Because none of them were repaying favors. I made sure to check that. Well, that sucks, because we can't try to get another law changed for five years. Oh no, it's only one year because it was rejected. Okay. Still, that sucks. I've never seen that happen before. That's frustrating. How's a good way to get a loyalist? Uh, there are certain traits that increase the chance of loyalist. Uh, it's their opinion of you. You want them to have a high opinion of you, obviously. But traits like uh, content. Trusting and content give big bonuses to them being a loyalist. Okay, inheritance. Uh... City foundations, or sorry, uh, fortifications. Done. I don't think I want to spend more on that right now. I kind of want to start on a great work soon. However, part of me also wants to wonder if I should be waiting until I have Constantinople, but that could be a ways off. How long until I can change the location of my capital? That is a glitch. <laughs> There is no way we're not allowed to move our capital again until negative 10,835 months. 
Was there a regency? I think that in a regency, people can vote however they like. We are not in a regency. We are 30 years old. Um, we are 30. Yeah, there is no regency. We're fine. Well, that's a bummer. All right. I'm going to say that because this is multiple streams of the change capital having a glitched out number, that the person who asked once, hey, are you not able to change your capital as a merchant republic? That person might be right and the game just doesn't tell you properly. If anybody can Google that and figure out for sure, I'd appreciate it. In the meantime, though, if I literally can't ever change my capital from this shitty county, then uh, I'm going to start dumping some tech points in it right now because we have a lot built up and we can really start boosting that up and get the tech spreading out from there. In fact, if I look at Great Works, I want the, great, the Grand University. The Great Library you can make earlier, even though it's more expensive. It's all tech spread rate stuff, which I'm not as interested in, in terms of like the bonuses for it. Whereas Grand University is tech speed, which I'm more interested in. However, it requires legalism and tolerance of three, which is not horrifically far off. I wouldn't mind waiting for that. We can always build multiple great works in different places. Maybe click on another county uh, that is coastal. Yeah, maybe just that one is glitched out. But the thing is, I don't own many coasts. If we look at the land I personally own, I think that's the only two pieces of coastal territory, so it's the only ones I can check with. I would rather go by what people Google on this one. Merchant Republic cannot move capital according to Reddit. More info to follow. Got it. Okay. Um, right. My court rabbi, by the way, has been charging money. Uh, how good is he? He's pretty good. Is he a loyalist? He is not a loyalist. Do I have better candidates than him? Not as talented, but maybe I could get a loyalist. Uh, that guy's got a okay chance, I guess, of loyalist because he's content. Uh, who could we get? I want men who will join the court who are learned. Probably not that guy. Oh god, and then everyone else really sucks. Uh, I'll have him fired. We'll have him fired, and we'll take this guy who has a decent chance of being a loyalist. And he's still... I mean, it doesn't really matter if I have a crap rabbi that much. Okay, he didn't end up being a loyalist, but that's fine. I don't really care. Merchant Republic can only change capital by changing primary title or by losing capital county. Okay, so we're not changing the capital then. In that case, let's start upgrading. Okay, drop 80 points on getting construction to level 2. Hell yeah, because that decreases the cost of a lot of stuff. It also means that we can do more upgrades in the hospital. We can get the sick house going in there, which is high priority. Good medical care for the royal family. Uh, I probably want to make another city in here somewhat soon. Um, what I could do, actually, we're really young and we're making good money now. We could try to create a bloodline by making 10 cities. If you make 10 cities, temples, or castles during your lifetime, you'll make a bloodline. That is very tempting. Who am I trying to kill again? Of Greater Poland? This guy? Oh, right. He's one of the guys in my country. That was revolting against me. And I'm just still trying to kill him. Uh... Whatever. He can still die. Take thy free sub. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. Okay. Let's, uh... I could dump another almost 500 to get up to Sick House 2, which gets me Chapel, Translation House, Pilgrim's Inn, and Library. That is very, very tempting because that is when we get to start jacking up our tech rate. It's going to cost a lot of money, but it's worth it. Trade practice is also very appealing. Port level 3, that's more money. Trade value up, more money. We can make more trade posts. That's where we make a lot of our money. Uh, we could do town infrastructure. Next level is university. Hell yeah. And it also increases just tax income from the place. And that's cheap to do as well. So we just got that. 
Improved keeps level two would be better city walls. Absolutely, we need that because that does increase tax as well. Okay, so we've got that. I think I might just hard way to trade practice and construction and leave it there. Yeah, this is what we'll do. So this will lower uh, the cost of building things, including great works. Boom. And then we're going to hard way to trade practice. And we have enough to get another thing, but I'm going to hold off for now. So we just really increased the tech of our capital and it will spread out from there. Uh, build 10 cities. Bloodline for merchant republics is insanely powerful. You should definitely try for that. I'll keep that in mind. I think we should do that. Do we need the um, the ambition? I think so. Um, I don't know how long we've been trying to see the realm prosper, but as soon as it's done, we'll do it, because that gets a stewardship as well. We can get some more money out of that. Okay, city walls in Solden are upgrading now. That'll get us more troops, barely. Uh, a little bit more tax, and it will also give us better fort level for keeping the place from getting looted as hard. Most importantly, though, it is part of the requirements of upgrading other things like city fortifications and whatnot. Uh, but we do want a university at some point. It's expensive, but it's tech spread rate up by a lot, and it's economic technology points right there, which is obviously my favorite technology point, is economic. We could spread around construction, but with a steward, but I'd make more, I'd get a net profit out of just collecting taxes instead. By an enormous margin, in fact. Alright, uh, drop the 10 points on getting shipbuilding. It's kind of pathetic that we didn't have that, uh, but shipyards are nice. In fact, uh, okay, just galleys, okay. For a second, I thought the city shipyard might have also given just a little bit of money with the ships, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Pretty dumb that you need to have the bloodline ambition start making cities towards the bloodline. Yeah, I'm not sure what the rules are on that. It's quite a new mechanic. If anyone could double check that, it'd be nice. Be nice if we can move the capital to Jaffa once we claim Jerusalem. I know, right? Um, okay. I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna hard wait to next military organization so that I can get more retinue. Actually, no, we wouldn't we wouldn't have enough. No, we'll hold on to those points. It'll be fine. We can drop 100 to get next legalism. Uh, religious control mandate, medium centralization. None of this is stuff that I immediately need, but there's no ahead of time penalty, so it's tempting. We could go to the next level of tolerance. You know what, I'm gonna do that because we have a lot of different uh, cultures and this reduces opinion penalty for cultures and religion. We want to get both tolerance and legalism to level three. Those are requirements for building the great university, which is a high priority for me. I want to be the center of technology in the world, just like I was with Mecca, because as you guys know, that is very powerful. You can sit around without doing anything with the ambition active, and you can still get an event where you spend shit tons of gold to get Alexander the Great bloodline. Let's see, you can do invasion castles belli either once a cen every century or per ruler. I'm not as interested in that. I want the city, I want the create 10 cities bloodline because I did the create 10 castles bloodline as Lombardi in a personal file once and that was very powerful and a lot of fun to do. And my God, did it pay off for the country making all these castles all over the place? Ooh, you, it really helps develop your country. Okay, yeah, Jerusalem is not coastal. That is true. Like, the actual the land of the Jerus of Jerusalem, you need to actually take some coastal cities there. Um, ahead of time penalty for tolerance sucks a little. I'll drop the little bit on legalism, just so that we can start getting points towards the next thing, so that when ahead of time isn't so bad, I'll buy both of them. In fact, we're not that far off of being able to buy both of them if we want to get started on the wonder soon. We need to build 10 cities during our lifetime. How much does the city cost right now for us? In a place with high construction, just under 600. In a place with low construction, is this a place with low construction? Yes, one. In a place of low construction, oh, still 600. Probably because that place is tribal though. I will read that donation in one moment. Um, I just need to find a place that has been modernized a bit. Okay, hold on, let me just, um, oh, this is uh, Stetton Prosperity. Yes, yeah, supply limit up, spend a tiny bit of money, absolutely. Right now we get 500 gold a year. And if we check a place like this, yeah, this is upgraded. Okay, we're looking like it's about a 600 to 800 gold range to make a city. 
600 to 800 gold, and we're making uh, ooh, well under that a year. Yeah, expect from 500 to 900. I'm going to say 600 to 800 is seeming accurate for my tech level. Um, mm, 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 mm. It sucks if you got a mortal and then you couldn't use the bloodline trait. I don't mind. Um, it would suck, though. Will universities be as strong as in Mecha? Mm, probably not as strong. However, in this playthrough, wonders have been added. Wonders weren't added to the game yet when we did the Mecha playthrough. Who knows? Could be even stronger. Does suck not being on the Silk Road, though, but I'd like to take some of the Silk Road at some point. Anyway. Uh, I definitely want to build another city in here. Also, did our trade post limit go up enough? No, it's four to four. Okay. That's not, like, updating at the end of the month or something? No. Okay. Just making sure. So that, that boost wasn't enough to get us another trade post until we have more suns. However... Uh, it will still increase the trade value, so it does have some immediate effect in terms of our income, which is very important. So I know every great work you build after the first costs more and more. Yes, that is true. Uh, which is why I want to do the university first, for sure, because it is so valuable. Okay, I don't want to dump too much money on this stuff right now, I don't think. Maria. Maria. Thanks for following, uh, Danielle. Welcome to the vlog. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I... I think we're going to hold on to those tech points for now. I'm pretty happy with what we have at the moment. We need to make money. So this is going to take us more than 10 years to get the 10 cities by the looks of it. With our current income, uh, our income will go up as it goes. Okay, that those will get scared off probably. Those raiders in the east are such a bitch to deal with. Um, I'd love to just have vassal levies do this. Um... Don't forget you got a donation. Oh, I did forget I got a donation. Sorry. Uh, I'll read that in one moment. Let me just have these guys march over. There we go. Um, oh God, I want to be able to say this name, but it's all lowercase over on this monitor. Shintaku's Vision. I'm going to say that's what it is. $5. Thank you. Uh, you didn't see my message in the chat last time. So, uh... Is the second uh, time on your stream, and I just wanted to say that your YouTube series is very entertaining. Thank you, and keep up the great work. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Uh, it's nice of you. Um, it seems I every single stream I do, no matter what game now, it seems like people come into the stream and just say like, "Hey, I love your CK2 stuff." Also, title loss on Succession. Let's uh, dump some money on fixing that. I hate dropping so much money on a campaign fund, but. Like, it's seriously important. Why did a guy get, like, a weird uneven number? That was weird. Whatever. Uh, celebrate Passover? I'd love to, but money's really important right now. You missed my dish <laughs> donation. Thank you. God. Sorry, sorry. It's, it's a time crunch when I play this game. You know how it is. All right, let's uh, go over there. As a reminder, everybody, uh, after we're done with CK2 today, I'm going to be playing Fell, uh, sorry, um, Fell Seal, which I'm really excited for. Uh, I've played a little bit, and it's really, really fun so far. If you guys like my Tactics Ogre Let's Play or my Final Fantasy Tactics Let's Play, it is so much like a hybrid of those two games. I fucking love it. All right, um... All right, uh, yeah, you're not... Grid does not become me. I'm not giving you a random piece of land. Fuck off. Monetary compensation. Someone's opening a foreign trade route. Yeah, he didn't pay me. They almost never do. It's nice when they do. They give you, like, 50 bucks or something. Nice little bit of money. Monetary compensation! Wait, you did Final Fantasy Tactics? Yeah! I let's played that for... Oh, they paid me. Nice. They almost never do. I did that, like, five years ago or something. I believe I'm still the top result for Final Fantasy Tactics Advance on YouTube. Hey, Katasumi. Okay. Uh, yay! Wife is pregnant. Let's hope for a son, because that will get us more trade rights. Ah, no. In the pit. Never complain about my dungeon, or I throw you in the pit. Those are the rules. We being Jewish for the memes? What Jewish memes? Uh, we're, we're Jewish because I thought it would be really fun to 
We're we're in a part of the world where there's like four different really powerful religions all surrounding it, and I thought it'd be funny if I pick one religion where I'd have no backup whatsoever in the middle of all of it. It'd be fun for like holy wars and shit, so that's what I did.